Hello, 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 hello. We're gonna wait a couple of seconds for you guys to get in tuned. I'm gonna watch you. I'm so excited about today. We have a special episode of Home Again. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Rita Fuller Yates and I am your lifestyle expert. We have a show today that everyone is gonna want to tune in. So please tag and share. If you know of someone who is single, looking for a new resource to meet someone, we have the dating game. And we'll do this every quarter with at least one, uh, as uh, we planned on having two games today, but we are only gonna have one. But please tag and share so that others can learn. Not uh, the game isn't new, but this is new to do it from a local perspective. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, okay so how the game will work is we have a gentleman sitting next to me. We can't say any names or go through any characters. And we have three ladies on the back side of me. T. You can let that gentleman come in if you'd like to join us. Um, and we have three gentlemen on the back side, or excuse me, ladies, on the back side of us um, that this gentleman will ask questions to, um, and they'll answer them accordingly. And at the end, he will select who he sees fit to go on a date with. We do have a sponsored date with one of our sponsors, which is Brewdog. Yay! And we're excited about this new resource for the 614. It's not easy to meet uh, new people. Um, so again, please tag and share. So Mark, are you ready? Are you ready? I'm so ready. <laughs> well, we're excited. They're all mic'd up. They're ready. Oh, we're not ready. ready. We're 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 ready. We have Speak Easy Bakery, who you'll be hearing from soon. And we have Paparazzi Jewelry. As you know, Paparazzi has given us free uh, products to share with our friends. So please continue to tag and share if you know of someone who may be interested in some free jewelry. Okay, Mark, are you ready? So ready. All right, baby, let's go. Question number one. All right, ladies. My uh, first question is to each of you, and my question to each of you is, starting with lady number one, is which people in your life do you value the most? This is contestant number one. Um, I would definitely say my mom. Um, she is just a cheerleader for me, just very, very supportive. Uh, a major prayer warrior. I uh, just always feel like I'm a manifestation of all of her prayers. So she's a top person that would come to mind. And then I have, you know, a couple of close girlfriends, but the main person that comes to mind would be my mother. This is contestant number two. I would have to say my parents as well. Um, not only because of their um, their marriage length, they've been married over 40 years. They've just been a great example of what it is to raise kids in a loving, godly home. And just to see that marriage does work and to see that um, if you put God in your marriage or if you put God in anything, um, it would work out. So they have just been a great example. All my family as a whole, actually, but my parents especially. This is contestant number three. I would say my parents as well. Um, my mom and dad, they've always been supportive of me. They've always been there whenever I needed them to be. And I also say my sister, her and I are pretty close and I can definitely confide in her and get the answers that I need when I need them. Good deal, good deal. Mike, what I'm here, ladies. So, so, what would you, this, is, this question is for all three contestants as well too. Um, what would you change about yourself? And we can start with contestant number three. 
Okay, um, if I could change one thing, I would say it would have to be to not overthink as much. Um, I am an Aquarius is my sign, and I think a lot, and sometimes I may overthink, so probably just to tone that down just a little bit. Um, this is contestant number two. I would say I'm an introvert, so I don't get out much. I really um, don't get to meet people or hang out because I am a homebody, so I would that's something I would probably change so I can experience more things and do more things and meet more people. This is contestant one. Um, I would say I can tend to be impatient. Um, I kind of know what I want and so I'm a planner and I try to plan in a way to expect certain results. And so if I get a bump in the road or things aren't happening in the time frame that I want them, I can, I can tend to be impatient. Yeah, yeah, so I guess I'm going to continue to ask all the contestants these questions. Um, contestant number two, starting with you, and then number one, and then number three. What do you believe are your finest qualities? I would say um, being giving and loving and caring. I have a hard for people and wanting to see people um, be their best. So, and the less fortunate, um, actually my job is doing outreach. So that would probably be the number one thing, just wanting people to be their best and make sure they have everything they need to make it in life. I would actually say um, a quality that I have, I am, I love giving advice and I love identifying positive things in people that I can try to help pull out of them and I'm an encourager. So those are things that I just, I love being able to push people and to be able to show them parts of them that they may not see um, to help them be their best. This is contestant number three. Um, I would say my best quality uh, would have to be understanding. I'm a very understanding person in different situations not really big on causing any issues, so I'm understanding those things. And I would also say uh, being resourceful. I like to help others, and I enjoy motivating um, people, and I enjoy getting motivation for myself as well. So, um, all things positive. Very nice, very nice. Okay, and this question is for all three contestants as well as well. So, what is your idea of a romantic evening out? And we can start with contestant number one. This is contestant number one. <laughs> I would say I'm pretty traditional when it comes to romance. Um, I am a firm believer in doing all Anything that you think would make a woman smile, be it compliments, be it being punctual, having a plan for the day, flowers, paying attention to what she's saying or what she's doing, and being quick to respond in those areas where um, it aligns with something she mentioned, um, that's my idea of romance. My idea of romance is paying attention, um, making sure she is the main focus in that time frame that you guys are together and doing things to keep her smiling. This is number two. Um, I would say I'm traditional as well. Um, going to dinner, having great conversation, maybe catching a movie, um, just talking, spending time to get to know one another. And um, just also, um, just getting to know each other pretty much is, is what works for me. Mm. Uh, this is contestant number three. I would say um, a nice romantic evening for me would be, of course, strong man picking me up. Um, having flowers, of course, because I do like those. Um, going out somewhere romantic, a nice candlelit dinner, maybe some music playing. Um, I'm all about romance, being attentive. I like a thoughtful man, so I want him to pay attention and um, be thoughtful of the things that I like to do 
and possibly, you know, if the weather's nice, I like being outside. So going to the park, you know, riding bikes, walking, talking, getting to know one, one another, even um, anything intimate where it's us spending quality time together. Very nice, very nice. Uh, my next question. Second to last. Okay, let's, let's, let's take a pause there. So we're gonna take a break and give some time to our sponsors. As we all know, it takes a village to raise us and uh, one of our sponsors has gracefully given us some wonderful desserts that I want to make sure that she comes on and talks about. Ms. Candy Francisco, I think uh, y'all know I mess up the name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry if I messed that up. That's Francisco, but that's okay. <laughs> I did candy right. Yeah. Okay, I did the candy right. Okay, tell us a little bit about your business. So I own Speakeasy Bakery. I've been in business since 2015 here in Columbus, Ohio, and we specialize in liquor-infused cakes. So uh, I am the go-to person here for all of your liquor-infused cake needs. Um, I'm based inside of the Food Fort, which is um, a commercial kitchen space. So you can contact us at 314-435-4455 for cake, or you can go to my website at speakeasy-bakery.com, and we're also on Instagram and Facebook. Wonderful! Oh, speakeasy.com. If you don't know, now you know. Now. Thank you, Candy. Yeah. We always, again, look for sponsors every week who are going to come on and support as well as acknowledge. As a small business owner, keep in mind, it would be great to have lots of money to market and spend thousands of dollars of that we don't have available normally um, in order to uh, provide a service or for people to know about our services or our products. Uh, but our show can help the small business. Uh, we reach about 1,000 people every week. We try to provide you with a good avenue so that customers can know more about you. It's an uh, inexpensive way to market your business. So please inbox me if you have a small business or if you have a new product. Please feel comfortable in inboxing me so that we can get you marketed and get you some exposure. That's what we try to do as a lifestyle expert. It's important for me to provide the resources so that people can become better in their own lifestyle. I guess after the initial shock, I would probably um, 
talk to him, ask him if he know what he did, and ask him to apologize, and then explain to him that it's not appropriate to do that, or you know, maybe say excuse me next time, whatever the case is. But I would definitely be a little understanding if it was an accident. It wasn't an accident. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, well then, I would make him apologize, and then explain to him not to do that again, or be careful with his surroundings, or with knowing people are around him. I'm initially looking for a parent for sure, like almost like, okay, now I'm on. Um, I'm looking for a parent and I'm gonna probably be the person that's going to kind of take him by the hand and like really have a conversation in a direction of where is your parent and who are you here with. Um, along the lines as well as kind of saying, you know, that's not the behavior, why did you do that? Trying to find out what is happening. A, a random kick, what's going on? Um, but I'm definitely looking for a parent and kind of taking the authoritative role as the adult to kind of say, what is going on here? Who are you with? Why are you doing this? Yeah, that's not cool. Nice, nice. Well, I can definitely tell you ladies are crazy, so that's good. Um, so, what are the qualities that you are looking for in a partner? And I mean partner as somebody you're looking to really make a move with relationally. And this question can be answered first by contestant two. First and foremost, because of my upbringing, I would have to say that the person would have to have a relationship with God. Um, first and foremost, that's important. If you have a relationship with God, a true relationship, um, then you would know how to treat someone. And someone who is kind, caring, and loving. Um, also, someone who likes to have fun. Um, you know, even though being saved Christian, you can still have fun, enjoy each other, um, and laugh, and just have good times. But I think when you love God, you know God, all that falls into place um, with everything else. This is contestant one. Um, Agreed. First and foremost, um, I'm definitely looking for a God-fearing man. Um, I'm looking for someone who has purpose, somebody who really knows who he is. He doesn't necessarily have to be where he wants to be, but he has to know who he is and he has to know what he wants. And he has to be a person who wants collaboration. You want to do life with another person and kind of honor them and respect them. Um, somebody who wants to travel, somebody who wants to have a family, um, somebody who wants to have fun, laugh, joke. I really want somebody to be like my best friend, like the whole me and you against the world. If nothing else is going to work, if nothing else is going to happen, I got you and you got me. Okay, now. Uh, this is contestant number three. Um, I do like the responses of the other two ladies, but I definitely might want to add, like, I said before, I do like a thoughtful man that is very important to me. Um, I want to know that I'm a priority in his life and he is a priority in mine as well. Um, I like a man that knows how to talk and treat a woman. Um, someone that has some good traditional background, uh, that has some morals and values, that was raised properly, amen. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping it real. Um, someone that has his stuff in order um, spiritually, his finances are in order, he's ambitious, he knows what he wants out of life. Um, I do like an alpha male, let me put that out there. <laughs> um, and so yeah, someone that likes to have fun, that likes to do outdoors things, um, possibly exercise, um, that really is big on building, and like you said, it's a partnership, so we in this together. <coughs> Very nice, ladies. Very nice. Do I have two more questions? Second to last question is, and this is a fast one. Do you have any children? And we can start with contestant number one. Not yet. <laughs> Test number two, yes, I do have a one uh, one son that is ten years ten years old. So yes, I do. This is contestant number three. No, I do not. Um, I want to be married first, and I'm sticking to that. Right. Very good, ladies. Very good. So my last question, and this is kind of open ended, is 
What do you hate or dislike strongly about the dating process? What do you hate about the dating scene, the dating process? And we can start with contestant number two. talking and then you don't hear from them and then maybe a couple weeks later you hear from them so it's just the up and down the back and forth of um, not knowing if this person is right for you because you don't spend a lot of time together and I understand everybody's busy like I am but I feel like if you're trying to get some get to know someone you should make that person a priority or at least take some time to get to know them so that is maybe one of the things that I hate most is just inconsistency of uh, getting to know the person Agreed. <laughs> what I hate is um, that people are not honest and they're not upfront. I am a very honest, upfront, and direct person, but also understanding. So my thing is just be honest with me. Be honest about what you want, who you are, where you feel like it's going. If it's not going well, just be honest about it. I can take it. If you're no longer interested, just let me know that. If you're feeling it, let me know that too. Like, I feel like the communication a lot of times just isn't there and you're always wondering what's really going on because people aren't really being direct upfront and letting you know what's up. So I hate lack of communication and people not being direct and upfront. Uh, this is number three. Uh, I agree with what they said. Um, it's all those very good points. Um, but let me add also, um, I would have to say someone that doesn't plan. I want someone to, to, to plan a date. Um, I don't want to be the one having to plan everything. I like a man that likes to take control, be the lead, you're going to be the head, be the head. Um, so yeah, I, I like a person that knows what, they, what he wants and he's going to go after it and he doesn't have a problem with, with letting it be known that I'm the one that he wants. Well, <laughs> add that to contestant number one too. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. 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 <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, we have to ask the question for the week, and we'll just ask it to the audience since we have so many participants. I would suggest pulling out your phone and Googling. Whoever's the fastest at Googling will probably be the best one to answer. So we can and the question is, Garrett Morgan is responsible for what two inventions? The stop light? No. And the traffic light? Traffic light, yeah. Traffic light. I have to. Garrett Morgan. Chemical here, high saucing, and strain solution. In the smoke hood. In the smoke hood. Well, he's got a bunch of them. It only gave me two. <laughs> See, I gotta always do my research on the question. This is what you would be. And that was why we were asking. Nawanda Turner. Everybody knows Nawanda Turner from the Diva Station. She does paparazzi jewelry. She is one of our sponsors this week. And she'll be giving us to you. Oh, maybe not. You can take a picture of that and post it on behalf of Nawanda Turner. So we really appreciate it. Are you guys ready to hear the answer to the dating game? Yes. 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 Okay, before we say who he thinks, I'm going to have a couple of you guys give your 
opinion. We're all ladies, so it's easy to assume what he may be thinking. So anybody can just chime in any time based on what you've heard. What is your opinion of who, how it would be easy for you to select someone? Or who would you select based on what they've talked about? Why? Okay. <laughs> Let's get a couple of somebody else's comments. I would say she's, she's very level-headed. She's very concrete. I really like her Good, good. Anybody for number one? Let's see number one. Okay. You like number one? Why do you like number one? I mean, they all get really good answers. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we would date them all, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not so lucky to get a paid date like this gentleman is. And uh, you can stand, because what we're going to do first is he's going to give his uh, answer to who he wants to go on a date with. And before that individual comes out, we will introduce the other two who he didn't select. Uh, so at this time, can everybody do a jump, a drum roll? <laughs> What's your answer? I'm going to go with number three. But I'm really excited for you to have to select it. <clears throat> Excuse me, number three, right? <laughs> okay. So let's introduce the other two. Uh, we first have Missy Bolden, number one. Missy Bolden is a media personality, and her passion is peace and prosperity. Oh, Come on out there. <laughs> <laughs> you can just stay there. <laughs> Thank you, Missy. And then number two, contestant number two is Jocelyn Clark, the director of outreach, and her passion is interior design. You missed out on a beautiful space. <laughs> Priceless stuff. Right there. Okay, well let's go with your winner. Your winner, Renee, is Yvette Kaplan. She's a claims processor, and she, her passion is helping others and being resourceful. <laughs> Can everybody give them a hand? <laughs> it's not easy to find somebody to date. Now again, the simplicity is you get to go on the date. What's so nice about what happens after that is left up to you guys. It's all paid. It's, you'll be going to Brudolph. And we'll be, you let me know the date that you're interested in, what you guys exchange numbers, um, and then we'll set it all up for you. And it's just that simple and that easy. Does that sound good? Give yourself a hug. Give a hug. Now, you guys just joined us for our first dating game. This was the couple that, or I should say the young lady that Mr. Mark Holmes selected. It's not easy to find somebody to just be acquainted with. And I know for a fact, you're going to be a happy man. <laughs> <laughs> Again, we don't do this in vain. We appreciate you guys coming out and spending your Sunday evening with us. This was our first dating game. So please tag and share and let everybody else at work know that we hook people up on dates. <laughs> Again, my name is Rita Fuller Yates and I'm your lifestyle expert. And we will see you next time. Woo!